when I remember enough, going on set, showing up with my bag and my thing later in the day, and the, the crew would see each other and high five. They're like, yes, we're going home early. We're going home on time. <laughs> and I was like, okay, great. Because you can't put the last guy, new guy up. Yeah, because you know, you, then he holds back the entire day. But if you put him up first, no, and you put the new guy up first. Because yeah. you could still gain, you can gain, if he, holds up the, if, if he screws up in the beginning, mm -hmm. you still got the rest of the day to maybe catch up. Mm -hmm. But if you get through the, you know, and then you put the last guy, new guy at the end, mm -hmm. everyone's like, okay, we're yeah. not to wrap out yet. Yeah. We're I guess it depends on like how. Yeah. I would probably, let's see. It's I'd tough, probably you know? put the new, personally, I'd probably put the new guy last. Yeah. Because yeah. then I know I would get everything else done sure. and he wouldn't right. hold back yeah, the it's possible. of everybody sure, sure. else. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, I got the rest of the day to deal with, with this. Him, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I got everything else done. Like right. so, for me, I'd probably put right. you last, put not you last, but that sure, person sure. last. But I get it. Yeah, I get yeah. It. I was like, and it just goes to show, though, like how much of the production rides on the male talent. Because at the end of the day, without that, yeah, aspect of it, yeah. And one of the things too, we could have a bit of the conversation of is, I've had to deal with this thought over mm -hmm. the years of. The guy's no, doesn't matter. The guy doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I've heard that before. Nobody cares about the guy. Mm -hmm. The guy doesn't matter in the in the in the scene. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm like, how, how is that possible? Well, nobody. Ca I go well without the guy, you don't have anything. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of it's like that thing where. The customer may not care about the guy as much because sure. they're there for the girl. Right. But the guy matters so much. So I mean, to much. the production, he's the most important thing. Right. right? right. It's the, the male talent is like the, 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 the foundation that, that Literally. holds every the glue that holds the scene together. It's funny you mention that because I've used that before. With yeah. The glue that, you know, the unseen, the unspoken, yeah. you know, and, and, and I've said this before. I said, our, I think our role is you got the girl and she's the painting. She's the beautiful painting, right? Mm -hmm. She's the painting, mm -hmm. but we're the frame. Yeah. And together we make the whole thing. And, and Seth mentioned recently, uh, we had this conversation. He's like, the women are the rose and we're the vase. Yeah. So together we make the whole thing, right? Yeah. And, and, and so some of the, for some of the ladies out there, and there's a lot of them who are like, male talent is so pivotal. We need, you know, because mm -hmm. they make us, it's kind of like a male cheerleader. You throw her up in the air. Yeah. And you catch her so she doesn't come crashing down and, yeah. and get hurt. And we make her look great. They're not here to see us mm -hmm. per se, but they're here to see us, the whole thing, right? Yeah. Because so, I've had some girls go, oh, you're my prop today. And I go, what's your name? Yeah. Oh, I'm Susie from Idaho. I'm saying, how long have you been in the business? Oh, just a week. And I go, you know. Yeah. I'm going to make you famous. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. But those girls come and go. Yeah, it's a shame. But I wish, you know, and again, big shout out to the guys doing it because, you know, as much as we might not matter, we yeah. matter. No, I mean, we, I say it's as, as a director, you're like, my God, the guy's so important. Oh, yeah. I say it on the show all the time. The guy's Jeez, like the most right? important thing. Like, there's such a small. That's why you only see them, the same can, ones over and over again. Who can do it? 25, 30, or however yeah. many. Who can do over what you do? Over the course of the year. You know? I mean, you're like a very special breed of person. Yeah, yeah. You know? And you're also like the kind of guy that everybody likes. You you don't have an attitude. You come in, you're professional. Yeah. You're not like, you know, like you're not going to get canceled because you're like, like... some weirdo or something. I mean, there's, a, there's been shit. some shit yeah, that's gone down crazy. with male performers that's like kind of terrifying, you I know? know right? and. <laughs> And you're somebody that I feel everybody knows they can trust. Yeah. When that whole when that whole thing took place, and it's not as prominent as it was. There was a like the time where that whole mute to everybody yeah. was like wondered who's gonna who's gonna be the next guy yeah. on the lips of everybody. Yeah. You know, and I was like, I never had a, I never was like, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Is it, are was, they gonna find out? Because I I knew early in the begin in the business, going back my first two one year two years, I I learned that my rapport with the girls is what's going to make my career be yeah. great. Yeah. Because I was a sweetheart. Hey, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm not all over him in the makeup chair. Yeah. I'm not some weirdo. I was, are you okay? I'm not hurting you. I'm not, not yeah. support him a certain way. Hold him. A, 
and they never they were always like oh, i feel such good because yeah. i look at it like i'm they're in my care when i'm working for mm -hmm. it. i know it might sound strange but i'm caring for them no that's true and and i i remember there was a couple uh, one particular guy goes you're mr congeniality and i mm -hmm. go what, what he goes everyone likes you i goes well that's you sh that should be yeah because a lot of people dislike you and and you're suffering from it because you're on a no list from some girl. I right. was never on a no list. If I ever was, it was for a couple of reasons. And it was, it was you're a little too big. Okay, fair mm -hmm. enough. You look like my dad. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah Not, fair enough. You're an asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't like you. Yeah, yeah. It was only those things. And yeah. I said, fair enough, that's great. Yeah. So I, my rapport with the, with the girls was always uh, paramount. And, up, uh, and still to this day. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I want them to have a good experience and not be like, oh, I'm yeah. a weirdo. Or yeah, no, that's, I think that's so important. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.